Okay, um, you touched on having mentors um, when you moved to Washington. Who were some of those mentors and what were some lessons that they taught you? Well, it's, it's interesting. Um, I'll, I'll say two things about mentors. One is when I started thinking about a career in agriculture, there were no women mentors. There were two women that had higher levels, jobs, positions in the private sector, um, but there were not people that I really wanted to be alike. Um, they're just not folks that I was going to look up to. So I look for um, other, other role models. And it, it, very interestingly, it was women in the oil and gas industry that befriended me. It was about five or six women I got to know through working on an issue that involved um, their, their important to their companies. And they were about 10 years or so older than me, just enough that they were more accomplished. They had real jobs. Um, they had real titles, they had expense accounts, kind of things I thought were cool at the time. <laughs> and um, they took an interest in me and they became the, the women who said, you can do this and you can be a strong leader. They got me in a golf group, they got me in an investment group, things that would help me later on um, in a man's very male dominated industry um, be able to, to fit in. Not ever to be one of the guys, that was never my goal. It was always just to be able to communicate and relate. And they helped me see that you can do that and staying true to yourself. Um, of the five of them that I really feel like helped shape my career and helped really help me decide how to lead, how to manage, um, four of them came to my hearing when I was um, being confirmed as Deputy Secretary. They came across the country, one of them is retired, they're doing different things, but they were still such a part of my life. They still were that interested in me those many, many years later. Um, the other thing I'll say about mentors, and I think it's very important for, for all of you to, to know this, I've never had a female boss. I've always had male bosses. And I've always had male bosses who have sons. Um, which is very interesting to me. Uh, they all have two sons. I don't know why, I don't think anybody planned it that way, and I certainly did not. But I always had thought that I wanted to work for a female. I always thought that I wanted to work for a man who had daughters, because they would understand and be more interested in my career as a female, because they would care about their daughters. And it just never worked that way. But the men I've worked for, including Secretary Vilsack most recently, um, really gave me always, I felt like enough room to test myself, to try new things, but I always knew they had my back. And that's the kind of boss I've tried to be as well. I learned about how to manage people, how to promote, how to care, how to nurture people, I think, from the kind of bosses that I've had, which I hope, and Adeline might um, disagree, but um, hope makes me be a better boss. And I think there's, there's two elements in my life, these strong, strong women outside of my industry who didn't really understand my industry that I was in. They were in a very different one, but understanding those common day-to-day -day kind of pressures and issues and challenges we all deal with. Um, I still have mentors today. And the other thing I would say, and I hope every single one of you, no matter where you are in your walk of life, whether you're a professor or a teacher or a student, you need mentors, and you need to be mentoring somebody. I believe you get the same, ex um, that the same reward, no matter where you are. I still have people who I know have dealt with difficult personnel issues, for instance, that I still go call on and say, how would you handle this? How have you handled this? And I always spend a lot of time with young people. And even if you're a freshman in college, there's somebody in your hometown, in your church, in your community who's looking at you, who's thinking about, oh, you know, can I do that too? How are they handling those pressures of college? Should I go away to school? Should I stay home? So I just remind all of you as you're thinking about your life and you're looking for mentors and thinking about who can make a difference in your life Remember, you can make a difference in somebody else's. And I think finding that balance of both is very important.